Hello and welcome back everybody to a brand new video. So today we are here for some first descendants. Now, this is the first time you're playing this game. I only have very, very initial kind of like expectations of what I've been told from friends and what I've seen online alike. From what I've gathered, this is a very heavy loot and shoot destiny warframe style type of game which i have vast experience on both so providing this goes very well i should thoroughly enjoy this now what i'm here to do today is i'm going to show you the initial part of the game how it starts off and maybe a little bit of thoughts on, on, on my opinion on the gameplay so without further ado here's the first descendant now, I don't actually know anything at all. I don't know how this is going to perform, how this is going to play, if this is so, going to be good, bad, you know or terrible. Like? But let's give it a go. We'll know when we I see mean, it looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is... this is. So how do we slide, then? Can you slide? I'll take the lead. So you can just by shift. As you okay. Wish. okay, so... Whoa, like I say... What's this... going on? All Ooh, no, that's report. different. Are we not supposed to go this way? No, we're not. Okay, okay so... Let's make a way forward. I thought we would have had to follow her, but I guess Wait, not. Wait, Bunny. So I should go first. I would assume there's more. Char oh my God, my sensitivity is shocking. I would assume there's more characters that you can like get over time through. Because if you guys oh. haven't played Warframe, Indeed. so I would assume then if you guys haven't played Warzone or uh, Warzone Warframe, if you guys haven't played Warframe, then you don't actually understand on what kind of like games like this are about like so when i say about other characters in warframe by completing missions by completing things that will acquire you relics you drop over time parts of characters where you then have to build so and so forth earn up to get them and then you can obviously progress with a different character a different build slowly start to make your way around the game doing higher level more difficult activities this is what i'm going to assume and gather from the gameplay from the start because he he reminds me of a mix of loki and rhino from warframe what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a picture on loki and um sorry frost and rhino i'll put a picture of frost and rhino on screen so you can kind of see where i'm coming from That reminds me of a little bit like 343 Gilly Spark, yeah. if I'm completely honest. So what's what's the what's the Iron Heart then like? Cover me. Okay, this looks interesting. Bro, he looks so hard though. He looks so sick. I'm, I'm just going to skip this because we're here for gameplay and if you want to watch the story by all means I would ensure you go out and play this game for yourselves it's a grappling hook feature okay that's quite cool actually can you just instantly co or consistently press it okay this is cool right my only issue is oh Oh, okay. My my middle mouse clicker is actually a little bit like... And press A and D. Oh, okay. So, just forwards and backwards. Okay. So, this is very Warframe-esque, I would definitely say for me. Um, it looks actually... It actually runs remarkably well, considering it's in a game that's in Unreal Engine 5. Now, most games that are currently out on the available on the market will be their own engine or Unreal Engine 4, with some being, I think, like, I know one for sure is Ark Survival Ascended. That's definitely an Unreal Engine 5 because it's an absolute pain in the ass to run. Um, and, but my CPU is not fantastic. If you know anything about computers, then you'll understand what I mean. So. What's this? I kind of just want to get into the gameplay, if I am real. We'll, we'll watch this out. We'll watch this out because it looks very interesting. Okay. 
I'm just feeling that like at the moment I can already see because I've seen a couple of um, Twitch streamers play this game that like it's very heavy on your RNG your random roles to get something so specifically unique to your character that it's going to be a very heavy game that like if you want to get any far in this game you have to put in so much time right let's um, um, i really don't want to skip but i kind of do so i want to get into the game like i love cutscenes, but like with games like this that don't already have a an established following like your call of duty your halo your battlefield like for this cutscenes just don't matter to me I, I want to get into the game to see what the game's about so then if I play it again to watch the cutscenes it sounds so backwards and so silly but what's what's this what's happened here then? the hell what just happened who was that Funny. her voice is annoying Oh shit, here we go. It's the Vulgus. They found their way here. The Vulgus. Get out of here. Hurry. I seriously have no idea what's going on. Target secured. I'm moving out. Let's go. Are we gonna fight or you need to stay alive? We have a lot to talk about. <laughs> But your accuracy is pretty garbage, mate. Right? There we go. I do love games that do that, where they will transition from a cutscene straight into the gameplay. It's an absolute love of mine. I think it's genuinely beautiful. Just the way that they could just seamlessly go from one to another. Okay. Now, I would assume as you uh, gather up the levels, you will eventually get more and more abilities. Or would that come from uh, armor type things? Or I don't have a clue. Okay, so enemies drop health orbs when they die. Oh, yeah, because there's one up there. Let me look at this. What's this, though? Is this a health orb? That is a health orb. Okay, so we just naturally gather that over time. Right, let's get up. Nice. Evade control button. Ah, yes. It's literally the same as Warframe. It is the absolute same as Warframe. Just the way that you evade. <laughs> it just feels amazing. Okay. The only thing is right. Is Warframe's movement is unmatched. It's so good. The like the things that you can do with Warframe and its movement is just unreal. F button, F button to perform a sub attack. Okay, let me give this a go then. Ah, I gotta wait for a cooldown. Okay. Right. I mean, at least you get unlimited ammo, which is like nice. Is there? A oh, there is a scroll wheel. Okay, that's like a sniper, and I assume this is the heavy, which I assume has limited. No, that has unlimited ammo as well. Okay, so this is like a shotgun type weapon. Okay. I mean, the variations of weapons are cool. Oh, okay, I just did like a ground slam. Bang. Oh, okay. All right, okay. This is this is nice. I actually quite like this. No. You can! You can... No! You can ninja! You can ninja everywhere! Okay. Right, let me just... I need to definitely take these out of range. Where from? Is there any more? There is. It's up there. No, I don't like that. I, I like the... If you can use your, like, omnidirectional... Rather than having to... Like, when you, like, grapple anywhere on some games, you could kind of, like, fling yourself. Like, I think that would be a lovely feature, rather than having to... 
Because it helped movement as well on the game. Okay. Oh, I missed three shots in a row. Oh my gosh. This is terrible. Right. But overall, right, first impressions are oh. nice. It's this game is Have you regrouped with Buddy? interesting. It's... Understood. I think this is definitely going to be a game that you can, like, right, hop on with your friends right. and Bunny. kill three, four hours with zero Bunny. issue because it's a game that, like, you can slowly progress and slowly build up to. Oh, shit. Okay. So, what is this, then? Oh, shit. He kind of looks like the Diduct, if I'm honest. In a way, with his armor. Get out of the way, big boy. Oh, no. This isn't good. Oh! Oh, my God! This is a one cutscene that I needed to watch. I think this is the one. This is the one. Contact with the heart. It's triggered an unidentified anomaly. Oh my god. Okay. All right. I am sold. Get me on this. This guy is some just absolute menace. He's a menace to society. Look at him. this are we look at her she's off let's go straight in here we go we're in some colossus parts can be removed pressing tab button to use a size to displays ah, okay shuts up parts the colossus shakes his body in the resistance you can press the e. okay oh my god you want a piece of me? right okay so that tells me what's destructive and not. Okay, that is an absolute madness of a first mission. Right, I need to run. Oh no. Let's go! Not over yet! Can I get to him? Oh, I can, but I'm absolutely violating him anyway. Oh wait, I can do all me like V and stuff. Okay, all right. I think I'm actually. I, I don't know if I'll go controller for this. I think this will actually play really clean on a controller. I'm not much of an MNK player. Like, 
I I have a scuff instinct, so like I mainly play. Well, now I play, play everything on a controller, so I might go controller for this. Mate, that looks huge in comparison. That looks genuinely massive. Don't lose hope, HQ. We've made contact with a guide. It's going. Right. Let's let's skip this and let's let's get to the main bit because. Well, I think to be fair with you, right? I think that's that is basically the introduction to the game. There's nothing more for me to show you other than if you like this video, hit the like button, comment down below, and I will by all means make more content on this game. And I will grind this game out to bring the best content that I possibly can. So, that being said, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment. All those good things down below, and I'll catch you in the next episode. As always, my friends, sweet.